are condemned to repeat it. While British statesman Winston Churchill wrote, those that fail to learn from history are doomed to repeat it. One lesson of history is that empires rise and fall. The fall of the Roman Empire is one of the most studied lessons of history and has important warnings for America in particular and the West in general. Because one lesson of history is that power abhors a vacuum. When America falls, as it surely is in the process of doing, unless it turns and goes a different direction, another power will fill the vacuum. And it may not be, in fact, will not be so benevolent according to Bible prophecy. Whole books have been written about the collapse of the Roman Empire, and historians agree that its collapse had no single cause. Instead, it was the result of a series of internal and external forces occurring over decades, which pulled the fabric of the empire apart, ending a power that ruled for more than five centuries. Mass migration from outside the empire is often cited as a primary cause. One of the most obvious reasons for the downfall of Rome was the relentless and seemingly endless waves of migration and invasions from the barbarian tribes that bordered Rome's northern frontiers. In the early days of the empire, Roman legions were able to repel barbarian tribes with relative ease. But this started to change towards the end of the second century CE. A particularly destructive migration took place in the late fourth century when Eurasian Huns invaded Europe, driving Germanic tribes to the borders of the empire. The Romans grudgingly allowed members of the Visigoth tribe to cross south of the Danube and into the safety of Roman territory. The parallels of mass migration into the Roman Empire from the north and the literal invasion of illegals on the U.S. southern border ought to be a wake-up call for America. But politics is apparently more important than preserving the country. In fiscal year 2020, that is October through September, there were more than 458,000 border encounters with illegals. These were those who were caught or who simply crossed illegally into the country and turned themselves in, claiming asylum. In 2021, this number rose to nearly 1,735,000. And in 2022, to a staggering 2,378,944. In October and November, the first two months of fiscal 2023, and the latest figures available at the time of this recording, there were 231,294 and 233,740 respectively. This goes beyond politics, my friends. It strikes at the heart of the question of whether a country can survive with what is clearly an open border policy. History holds many lessons for modern man, but if history teaches us anything, it is that we never learn from it. Sadly, today many don't even know history. How many understand how the Roman Empire has been revived six times since its fall in 476 AD? And according to Bible prophecy, it will revive one last time. And that final restoration is destined to bring the world to the edge of cosmicide. All of praise, honey, glory, and we have Bahashem, Yahawashai, Bahashem, Lakaha Kadash, and Abuhana to Zelda, and the Apostles of the Timison who do well, the peace, blessing, and salutation, and to work here more pushing this uh, truth to the four ends of the heaven, uh, be on the forefront of the spiritual war, and uh, to make for Jerusalem ease, established as a praise, and uh, he on his again, as in the days of Holy So, uh, this is a book of uh, Ecclesiastic. One nine, uh, it read the thing that has been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Jumping to uh, verse four, uh, it say the same same chapter, one generation pass away and another generation come. But, but the earth abides forever. 
the sun yes will rise and the sun is go down and hasten to it is pre- to his press where he rose the wind goes towards the south and turns about onto the north it whirls about continuously and the wind returns again according to his suck uh, so amen i was watching a video here and as you see a gentleman here was going to as a parallel between the fall of Rome and the the fall of the United States uh, today, as we witness as uh, she and uh, he listed about the uh, uh, seven reasons why the Roman Empire fell, and uh, <laughs> everything is on the spot. We see uh, what's going on uh, today, man. He started with the mass migration. Uh, she, or of what they call illegals in the Roman Empire, they were referred to as barbarians, the Huns, the Vandals, the Viscos, and, and, and everything. And he will go on to explain the other uh, six remaining reasons in which uh, they are very parallel to America. And uh, I was uh, reading the comment uh, board, going through the comment board. <laughs> Not only uh, do people, uh, this ignorant men, they believe that uh, America is modern Rome, they also believe America is Babylon, Babylon is a great. Uh, it is easy to see, man. It is easy to see uh, if uh, you open your eyes, man. Uh, you see? Uh, it is easy to see. So I grabbed the uh, Ecclesiastic 1 and 9, uh, she, and which he, it was going to the thing that has been, is that which shall be, that was going to the incarnation, uh, and that which is done shall be, that which shall be done, uh, she. and uh, in verse uh, 6, it spoke about uh, the sect of sin, uh, she. Uh, King Solomon was trying to uh, explain uh, that everything is uh, a cycle, uh, she, like how the Moshe uh, in the book of uh, let me see the book of uh, Second Ezra, um, the book of Second Ezra. Mm-hmm. This is uh, Second Ezra 5 and 42. It read, and he said unto me, I will liken my judgment into a ring. That's why uh, this uh, canon, you know, might say, you always cry. Uh, history repeat itself, and we don't learn from history. Uh, we are repeating the mistake of Rome and the other empire which fell. You see, and uh, the people who are doing that here, yeah, the people who are in the know, they hold the PhDs in history, they hold the, uh, uh, they are professors in history, in philosophy, in every sphere of life. You see, every uh, sphere of intellect, I uh, see. But uh, they are doomed to repeat because that's go to the incarnation. You see, the, 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 the character who were back in Rome, in the Senate, uh, making policy, are the same people who are back in today's Senate in America making policy, in which uh, this policy will bring about uh, an end to America. So that's why we learn about the uh, uh, rise and fall of season, man. Ecclesiastic CN1, to every season there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. <coughs> see? So right now, uh, uh, this time period is likened into winter. <laughs> see, uh, when he, uh, there is winter, even you are tree, as a tree which is in your backyard, man, you, you, you won't like it, man. 
if you won't like it and uh, uh, during winter man you won't even hear birds singing outside you won't see a, hear birds singing you won't hear children praying and then and, and, uh, jiggling outside see, because everybody is inside <laughs> Just uh, parallel to uh, when the devil is 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 is, 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 is ruling, man. Everybody is unhappy. I see. Everybody is insecure, unhappy, and and uh, there is no security at all. But when spring comes, that's why <laughs> even uh, the first month in the Hebrew calendar it starts in spring. Everything is blooming. Uh, see the flowers are blooming. Birds are singing, children are praying, there is a lot of, of fruit, you see a lot of, of and other, 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 other things to eat during spring, I see, and that is symbolic to the kingdom of heaven. So, uh, the coming and, and the going of season, it is likened into a rise and fall of empire. As a matter of fact, let me grab the book of Jeremiah 28. And verse 8, it is a prophecy, the prophecy that has been before me and before thee of all the prophesies about against many countries, the against great kingdom of war and the evil and of pestilence. So, uh, between one season and another, uh, right now we are in the middle of one season uh, to another. You uh, see, uh, between that season in which there is a transition. Uh, from one season to another, you see sign. Uh, you see sign that hey, man, spring is here, and uh, when winter is about to come, you see sign. Man, winter is here. You don't see bad thing. You see, and uh, the wind changes. That's why uh, King Solomon was telling you the wind blow from north to south. Bed fly from the north pole to south pole, man. You see, all of these are sign. Man, hey, man, winter is coming or spring is coming. You see. You see a certain kind of bed, you say, hey man, a spring is here. You see? And right now we are seeing a lot of signs that, hey man, a spring is here. This empire is about to, an end, to, to come to an end. You see? Uh, one among the, 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 the signs is uh, everything which made the Roman Empire uh, fall are here. You see? And uh, another thing here we're going to is. Among the major factor which made the Rome fail is Christianity. And the Christianity that was going into the teaching of the Apostle. It's back in the, in the, in the day in Rome. This is the Apostle, actually, they made Rome upside down, man, through their teaching. It is written in the Bible. You see? So that is a major factor. So another sign is as a prophet. You see? The prophet of Yahweh, if you see them outside there, that's a major sign, and you will see. Let, let's go and, and praise the video. You will see, man. I see, I know. Salak you. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see here. Very quick. Today, many don't even know history. How many understand how the Roman Empire has been revived six times since its fall in 476? Government corruption and political instability. And some of these reasons were overexpansion and military overspending. Overexpansion and military overspending. You see, overexpansion and the military spending. You see, overexpansion and the military spending. You see? Let me see. Mm -hmm. This is Jeremiah 15 26. Say, How is the harm of the whole race cut your son by the broken? How is Babylon become a desolation among the, the, the nation? So, America was used as the harm of the race. That goes into meat expansion. Government corruption expansion. and political instability. Government corruption and political instability. Uh, government corruption. Uh, you go to the, the Biden family, the, 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 the Bush family, and the other family in America who uh, they are very corrupt. You actually have what they call in America the deep state, which is very corrupt. You have the liberal 
and Christianity and the law. You see? And Christianity and the law. You see, that's the main point. Christianity uh, contributed to the fall of, of Rome. That was going to the teaching of our forefathers, man. That's a major, major factor, man. You see? That's why I brought Jeremiah 20, 28 in 80. As the prophet that has been before me, that's a major sign, man. Whenever an empire is about to fall, you will always see the prophet. <laughs> you see? And before your fall, he prophesied both against many countries, against his kingdom. We are all there. We were there in Babylon. See, actually, even in Assyria, uh, you, have, you had people like Tobiti, uh, the Assyrian, you know, is in fact, was Nineveh. You have Tobiti, you see, he prophesies about the downfall of Nineveh. Uh, you have uh, Prophet Jonah, he prophesies about the downfall of Nineveh. Uh, you have Nahum, who prophesies the downfall of Nineveh. In Egypt, ancient Egypt, yes, so, uh, she, you, have, you had Aaron Masha, uh, 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 and, and, and they are brethren, our people. You see, uh, in the ancient uh, Babel, you have our forefather Abraham. Abraham actually was a prophet. Uh, you see? Uh, when we come to uh, the Babylonian Empire, uh, we had Daniel and the other prophet, a lot of prophet. In the middle in Persia, you had Ezra there and the other prophet, men, Nehemiah, uh, she, uh, in, the, in, in Rome, uh, she, uh, we had uh, the apostles, men, and uh, the seven church, uh, she, uh, she in Asia Minor, uh, she, uh, they prophesied about the downfall of Rome, which Rome fell, that like now we have America, so... <laughs> You have the pro you have you have the prophet in America, you see. So, uh, in the middle between one season and another, you will have sign. Hey Amen. This season is ending, man. You see, uh, another season is coming. You see. Uh, when you go back in ancient time, you have the watchmen. The watchmen, not only did they watch. When an enemy was coming and, and sounded an alarm, the watchmen also they watch time. You had the watchmen for time. They will tell you evening is coming. They will tell you a fall is coming, summer is coming. Uh, so uh, uh, observing the stars, uh, see observing the sun, the moon, the movement uh, through different tools. Uh, she and, and that goes into uh, 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 astrology. You see, all, all the knowledge about the alignment of stars and the concentration, you see, uh, like how the, 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 the Isakrite man, you see, let me see. Let me see. Mm -hmm. It is actually in the book of Chronicles. Uh, first Chronicles 12 and 32. He said there was a children of Issachar which were men that had the understanding of the times. Uh, she, that goes into astro astrology. And they tell you, man, this season is coming to an end. That is very symbolic to uh, 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 even empire. You uh, see? <laughs> Uh, that's why the, the Greek had something known as Eon. Uh, see? Uh, 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 rulership. Uh, uh, a certain time period uh, uh, when people are ruling. Or an era. Uh, uh, to know what Israel how to do. And the head of them were 200 and all their brethren were at their commandment. Uh, see? Uh, see? So those were, were Issachite men. It's the same thing today, man, the prophet. So another season is coming, man, another season is coming. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, this is the second, uh, Samway 23. Mm -hmm. 
I started to say, say, the most shy of wizard, he shakes the lock of wizard, respect to me. He that the rule of a man he must be just ruling the fear of the Moshe, and he shall be as the light of the morning, or the light of the morning. <laughs> I don't know if you can call it, a, it's like he, uh, in the morning when the sun is about uh, to, to rise, man, you, you will see like he, uh, the sky are laid in the east, you see? That's a sign that morning is here. And right now, uh, uh, you see all the signs, man, all the signs around you that the morning is here. And the morning uh, symbolizes the kingdom of heaven. When the sun rises, even the morning without cloud, <laughs> and, and the cloud that is a symbolic uh, for the nuclear, nuclear warhead, you see the morning without cloud. You see, as the tender grass spilling out of the earth by clear shining after, la- after rain, that goes to judgment. I see. So I mean, a change of season is here. I see a change of season is here, and uh, what we call we commonly call translation. Translated, the kingdom will be translated. I see. It is in Ecclesiastic. Mhm. Ten. Ecclesiastic 10, it is because of unrighteous dealing, injury which is got by deceit. The kingdom is transferred of traditional one. values. So let's finish this and it will cause of traditional values. I see. And, 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 and what do you call a loss of traditional values? That is the, the last, last point which made the long fair. And right now in America, America was a Christian country at some point, at least. Even though it was a hypocritical Christian country, but at least they have some some kind, you see, a remotely, uh, if you cannot call that integrity, but the, the, some kind of, uh, that can be evident we see the Christian belt in, in, in Southern America, man, they, they, them redneck, man, in Texas or whatever, you see, they have some kind of value, man, you see, but America lost all of that, man. You see, all eyes of Christianity, they are, they are not telling you which Christianity rose in Rome, which made Rome fall. You see, that was going to the apostles. So I thought that is interesting. And he said, man, this is the last rise of the Roman Empire which came by America. And it will bring about a cause, what word he used, like, Cosmic change, I see, and, and that's the kingdom of heaven. And uh, I saw people here, I uh, see, uh, this is, uh, I don't know, Yapri 12, he commented one month ago, he said, Is your lady has fallen, fallen is Babylon is a great. So not only do they know that America is Rome, they also know it is Babylon is a great and has become the habitation of demon and the false spirit, man. Uh, it can't be clear than that, man. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, you have here somebody saying, but that script is taken out of context. America is not Babylon, it's a great. This is uh, what we call American sympathizer. Uh, she, and the scripture applied to a time during the great tribulation. Uh, she's calling and da 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 da. Think that it was talking about the Roman Empire and the Catholic Church. I guess the fuck out of here, man. Another, Libato. Uh, um, see, he, he, he replied to uh, this, this demon here. He says that it wouldn't make any sense at all, though. Names of those entities are remote as powerful and all influential as America, because America is influential more than uh, the pagan Roman Empire. Nor are they the global culture, economic. Uh, you see, Babylon is a great uh, 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 Talked about John the Revelator, it has global influence, man. You uh, see, from one end of the sea to another, man. Economic influence and sexual immorality, man. You see? That verse describes vividly, it clearly describes what America is today. A new age version of ancient Babylon. Oh, Rome. You see? All of trade and economic runs through America. Yeah, we can close the Bible and go back. Uh, 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 and go back. To, I can't use the word sleep, man, but yeah, we can close the Bible right here. And she. Uh, another, keep reaching at, at, at this point, you are. Claiming the Catholic Church, you know, everybody now, right now, know 
Babylon is a great is not a Catholic church, man. Uh, except for a few delusion individual. You see, explain the transgender movement and the mutilation of children. Explain the transgender movement and the mutilation of children. It is clear as day, man. You see? Uh, here, here, here come another, another punchline, man. America is the second beast mentioned in the 13th chapter of Revelation. Woo, man, yeah, let me close the Bible, man. Let me close the Bible. Yes, it is clear as day, man. Even, even Isa will know. Uh, she, uh, let me see. Another scripture, last scripture. Uh, she, let me see. One last scripture, man. You see? Mm. I look at 16 and 8. And the Lord commanded his unjust steward because he had done wise. For the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. So, it damn be. How many Jack can you can you can you, can you put the parallel uh, between Rome and and, and, and America or, and, 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 and say actually Revelation 13 was the second beast was talking about America? You see, even some Jack in this truth they don't they don't understand that. They don't know that man. So which is this I say shalom. I hope uh, you brothers were edified. On to the next.